Hello everyone. Welcome. I hope you're having a fabulous Friday. It is now time for what I have promised for many weeks, a stream. Many weeks in the making. One of the biggest things I've ever done. This is very important to me. Uh, to everyone who showed up here tonight. You're here for super big, not a joke announcement. It's Thursday. Fuck, you're right. <laughs> That's entire. It's been a long month, brothers. And I, I want to thank everyone who shows up uh, for this. It's not an announcement. I don't know why you said announcement. It's a very big stream. It's not It's not an announce. Did I put announcement in the title? I hope I didn't mess that up. Uh, is there's there's no announcement tonight? I'm sorry to tell you, it's it's just a just the biggest stream ever. Um, I, I want I want to thank you all for coming. I also would like to, if I may be candid for a moment here, I'd like to thank you all for your patience with me. I know I, I haven't been around a lot the last month or so, really more like three weeks aside from Monster Hunter the last week. That has nothing to do with the stream. I just want to apologize again for that. Uh, please just get to it. We're gonna be here for a while. There's no rush. I have to set this up. This is important, okay? Because, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your fucking attention with this, alright? Because this stream dates back to an older stream. Alright, that's how long this has been in the making. Because some of you may remember a game known as Detroit Become Human. And Detroit Become Human was notable for two very big reasons. The first of which... Being how Kimmy fucked it up, okay? How Kimmy failed. How she got a death that 0% of players ever got. And it led to us from the very beginning. The moment that stream ended, we said we have to come back to this. We might need to redo the ending of Detroit Become Human. Well, that stream, that ending to Detroit Become Human, that's why we're here. But it's not for that reason. Because the other thing that stream was notable for is being the most expensive stream I've ever done. I had to buy an entire TV to do that final stream of Detroit Become Human. Just for that ending. And I couldn't let that rest. And so ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you now to today. The new most expensive stream I've ever done. Ladies and gentlemen, sitting before you is over 2 hundred and fifty bandai pokemon finger figures that i have purchased with my own money and we are gonna sit here and we are gonna look out i know some of you some of you have said some of you have said trey i know about this already i was already i was already informed I was there when you purchased them. There's surprises. There's surprises all throughout this. There's pur purchases in here. None of you were aware that I made on my own. There's surprises all the way up until the very end of this stream. That's right. Up until the final moments of the stream, there will be surprises waiting around the corner. We should be here for about an hour or so. So buckle up, boys. I forgot to bring a box cutter. I've already ruined everything. So we're just going to have to... We're gonna have to- I hope you saw Godzilla vs. Kong. I'm gonna rip these open with my bare hands. Just kidding. I've already pre-opened most of them. So what we're gonna do is, step one, alright? Most of this junk, get it off the table, alright? You, you can't see anything. There's there's all kinds of- there's, there's so much just sitting here. You know, it's in the way, really. It's really- it's more garbage. It's all, we gotta put it off to the side, you know, there's, there's lots of stuff sitting around. I've made purchases from all over the place. I haven't looked at any of these, I made sure that, for most of them, that what I, what I ordered was in there. It's in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna take a peek, we're gonna enjoy some Pokemon finger figures. This, the camera's not right. That's a little bit better. We're gonna, we're gonna enjoy it now. I do, I do appreciate the people coming. I told you, there's no April Fool's joke here, alright? It's just something that I'm excited for. That's already empty. What is this purchase? Ah, these are the three special Rotoms that I purchased, along with Spiritomb from a nice eBay seller. He even double baggied them for extra protection. Uh, is the autofocus? I don't. Um, this is breaking kayfabe for a second here. How's the autofocus on this? Am I gonna need to turn off autofocus? I think I probably need to turn off autofocus. Autofocus worked right there, but it's it's a general rule. 
I'll be watching someone else while this plays in the background. I appreciate you sticking around. Listen, listen, listen. We all we all do our our freak and our goofs and gaffes. This stream it really does mean a lot to me. It's been a genuine. I am I am being serious when I say I'm gonna stop doing the funny voice. I'm gonna I'm gonna be serious here while I change the properties on my webcam to turn off uh, auto filter. It's been a very hard month, unrelated to everything going on right now. Uh, and I enjoy being able to sit here and just do something that I enjoy. And I appreciate the people that showed up for it when I asked. And I greatly, I even more, even more than the people who showed up, I appreciate the people who will stick around to the end. Even at least just for the most part. Um, there we go. That's a pretty good focus. I, there's, there's been a lot of stuff going on. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Sean, my good, my good friend Sean just followed, just in time for Pokemon Finger Figures. One of the few people that was aware of what was going to be going on here. Uh, Trey really does have King Kong hands. Uh, I am also literally three inches away from the camera. That means he's a loser. Can we talk about? It? Listen, Godzilla versus Kong spoilers. They absolutely toasted Kong in that, just like this little oven man is a little toaster. Do I need to zoom this in even more? You know what? I already stopped it. I dropped him. We're going to put him back here. We're going to put the ones I really like. We're going to put them right there in the background. Nice Rotom. Thank you. Here's another one. Here's a second Rotom. This is washing machine Rotom. Look at him. Lovely. For those of you unaware... I muted before spoilers. Someone tell me when they are done. Someone tell him to unmute. I won't talk about Godzilla vs. Kong anymore. I'm sorry. I forgot that you were seeing it next week. I will no longer... This movie no longer exists. We will no longer mention this movie that doesn't exist. Anyway, the most recent Godzilla movie was Godzilla King of the Monsters. And honestly, it's pretty hit or miss if you ask me. This is Spirit Tomb. He controls the souls of 48 living human beings. That's actually on me. Don't let anyone else take the blame. I knew you were seeing it next week because I invited you to go with us. And that's entirely on me for forgetting. The next package I have here, labeled Figure 2, uh, I believe is a purchase I got from Mercari. I believe that's what this is. There's a little note here. It says... Thanks for supporting a veteran-owned small business, Tokyo Retro Gaming and Anime. This is not a sponsorship, but there you go. I love the Spirit Tombs. The Spirit Tombs are very nice. Uh, those were hand-picked ones that I bought. There was a special deal on buying those. Thank you, Zach, for the subscription. Very nice of you. Much appreciated. Veteran from the Pokemon War. So here we have a Mercari lot. There were a lot of these, um, where I think it cost like 11 to $13 or something, and you got 10 figures, but you had to buy the lot as is. Um, so this was the lot that I decided on being the best to get. Sean, one of your favorites, will be in here. Uh, a little teaser for you. We really should. I'm not going to read the rest of that sentence, but to each their own. Uh, lot number 18, just for the legal, for the record. Uh, we're just going to reach in and take them out randomly. Uh, first off, we have Hound Doom here. Some of these, some of these, they got a little bit, a little bit of wear and tear on them, you know? But these are, these are Bandai Pokemon finger figures, finger puppets. You know, you put them on your little finger, you go, oh, look at that. It's, it's freaking Hound Doom. Legal, is it evidence? Well, they have literally all arrived in baggies, so take of that what you will. Nothing against Hound Doom, but some of these, some of these I'm going to put down here in the little drawer... I specifically bleached and cleaned uh, before this, which is one of the reasons this took so long. Uh, Dusclops, this is a fatty. Dude, this dude's way chunkier. Look at the dumpy on him. Good lord. Oh, Christ almighty, Dusclops. I had a Geodude, one of these, as a kid. He's a, he's a little dirtier than I expected him to be, but you know what? These, by the way, I'm, I'm going to go on record. I've, n I've never owned one of these before. I went from owning none of these to owning over 200 of them. This is sturdy. This is like, these are way sturdier than I thought they would be. I thought these were going to be like little flimsy rubber. Dude, this is, this is like hard rubber. This is shockingly good quality. 
Anyway, like I said, I really, oh, dude, this one got tagged. This is like, just like real life, someone tagged their horse. That's either a dollar sign, a Japanese symbol, or the little Superman S that middle schoolers draw. I can't tell. Either way. Like I was saying, you know, it's, it's, it's been through a lot. It's nice to see her and enjoy doing something. Um, there's been some body-related issues with me lately. This has a bullet hole in it. <laughs> Speaking of body-related issues, someone has shot Slowking through the top of his crown. It's like a, like a javelin pierced him. They tried to take his brain out. He was too smart. He's also very short. He's a, he's a four-foot king. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. He's, he's too, it's, a, it's a cadaver. That one is evidence. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now present to you the fattest caterpie in the world. Is the, the very... I should just put them all on my fingers just to show them all. The very... The very... This one's... Dude, I'm pretty sure that's like Japanese or something. The very hungry caterpie. That worm. Eh. Reggie Ice. And weird another weird hole in it. It's a little disappointing. I didn't see the like weird holes when I purchased these. He's like he had a thumb ripped off, but he has the right number of well, the belly. Uh Reggie Ice throwing him up. This is still probably even with the hole through the arm, this is still probably a better quality Reggie Ice than most of the ones I saw available uh sean this one's for you shout out to the homies uh it's the boy dragonite this dragonite looks a lot better in person than it did in the photo in the photo it looked extremely skinny it looked like th like thinner than my finger like it sticks out a little it looked even skinnier than this on the photo dragonite you can go over here too you know what why not larvitar it's pretty fat, too. It's pretty chunky. There's a lot of chunkers, you know? There's a lot of fat Pokemon figures. There's a lot of just wide lads. He kind of looks like a penguin, to be honest with you. And the final one of Lot 18 is, of course, my boy. My big favorite. Iggly Buff. There is currently no Dracovish finger figure, so I have to deal with just Iggly Buff for now, but I do love Iggly Buff. You know what? That's a, that's a great tiny hole in the head. Very small hole in the head. Very disappointing. Very. Some di some disappointments out of that Mercari lot, you know? You gotta, you gotta take the good with the bad. So then, next up, that's that was package number two. Package number three, as I have labeled right here. Uh, I don't know what's in this one. This one appears to just be a, a mass amount of bulk that I purchased. Um, There are many, many baggies in here. Actually, there were th like three or four. Three, and then it's like a lot of packing peanuts. Bro, that's perfect. All right. Um, so a lot of these that I purchased, I purchased as buy two, get two free. So that's why there's so many of these here. And we're going to start off with our third Rotom of the evening, Lawnmower Rotom. Some people may call him Grass Rotom. Some people may call him Cut Rotom. This is a Lawnmower. Um... This is not a cut. He has some grass at the bottom of him. He is not grass. He is a is his lawnmower Rotom, and he goes next to um, oven Rotom. I actually don't know if that's a. I think that's a laundry machine. I think that's a washing machine. I need you. I need you to understand. I need y'all to understand. This is the fattest fucking ladybug I've ever seen in my life. I don't think this is. This shouldn't be legal. This, this, like, s someone should come in and be like, Sir, there are actually children starving in Africa, and you look like this? There's something's not adding up here. So we're, we're gonna put him over there. Dude, he's wide. He's so wide! Uh, nice Deoxys right here, going fast. Zwoom, zwoom, zwoom. Very speedy boy. Very fast. We're gonna speed up the looking. At these figures, just a little bit, just a wee bit of speed up, you know. Place them around everywhere. Uh, I hope you're all ready for a little, little bit of good vibes here. A little wink, a little wink, a little wink and shingling. Look at that guy. 
Looking real good. He can, he can go wink back here. Look at that ass on that ladybug. And now, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna take Reggie Ice right here, and we're gonna move him right there. You can't see it because of my arms. I'm gonna put him right there. He's gonna be throwing him up in front of the spear team. And the reason we're gonna put him there is because we got some more boys here. We got Reggie Rock. Beautiful deal. So we got Reggie Rock. Uh, there was another Reggie Rock who's picking up a rock, getting ready to throw it. I chose this one because he looked better quality, and you know what? He is no real, no real defects on these Reggies, not on these Reggies, on these, uh, on these figures from this lot that I purchased. So feels real good about that. Clearly, Mercari was the wrong place to buy finger figures. I'm glad I didn't buy a lot from him. A lovely Steelix throwing up gang signs. You know how uh, Reggies is and all that. And of course, the king of them, a very special figure, paid, shilled out a little extra for this boy, uh, Reggie Gigas. Uh, I guess ready to crush the sun with his bare hands. Ready, to, He's ready to just end everything. Did you say Steelix? Steelix has not appeared yet. He's coming. I <laughs> Steelix is coming, all right. He's in the next baggie. We're going to put Reggie Gigas right there. And then I have, uh, because I'm dumb, because I'm a dumb idiot, I, I was so excited to get an Igglybuff finger figure, uh, I accidentally bought two of them. So now I have a second Igglybuff. And this one is actually flawless. This one has no hole in its head. So that's a bonus Igly buff. Uh, they're Bruddas. And only one of them has brain damage. Now this right here, this is the special baggie. Let me tell you, you want to see some good finger figures? Then you're going to get a mixed bag right here. Because first off, we got Kyogre diving deep into the ocean. Lovely. The big whale doing a big splashy. Now, I don't believe I grabbed a Groudon. I could be mistaken. I think I missed out on Groudon. This right here, this this next one, it is the it is the most expensive finger figure I purchased, except for the literal only finger figure that hasn't arrived yet. Uh, and that is this Whalmer shooting water out of its spout. He was a he was a, a pricey boy, finger figure price comparative wise. But you know what? I think he's worth every penny. Uh, then we've got a little fungus here. He's hiding in the grass. What's that? It's a Pokeball? Just kidding. It's a little mushroom guy. Put him over there. Dunks is happily crunching. Heatran. I've always been a fan of Heatran since Pokemon Rumble, where he looked like a little Snickers bar running around. This Heatran, however, on fire, consumed in the lava, being engulfed by flames, as that is where he prefers to reside. And I got I gotta, I gotta prepare you for these next two, right? Because right here, we got the funniest fucking figure I've ever seen in my life. This is the... Nothing is funnier than this. This is the funny guy. This is Funny Man Totodile. Um, there's not... Nothing is funnier than this. I'm gonna make that very clear. We have to put him at an angle, otherwise he'll be too funny. Now, someone who's also funny... When you look at him straight on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this. I might get demonetized on YouTube because this is a this is a dick. This is a dick and nuts. This is a dick and balls. Look at this. Look at this. You 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 can't. What were they thinking? What were they thinking? Oh, you know, if you look at him from like different angles. Oh wow, that's a pretty cool Steelix figure. Uh, that's a dick and balls. That's a that's a that's a nuts and a wiener. I can't put them on screen. I'll get I'll get censored. I'll get shut down. They'll hey, who put the wiener on your screen? Terrible. Now what I have here is labeled figure four. Figure pack number four. I don't this is the one of them I didn't preemptively open. We're 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 I don't I don't I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how to open this. I didn't I didn't bring a box cutter because I'm stupid. I have everything else. I spent a literal hour setting this up, and then I forgot the box cutter because I was too busy bleaching this drawer clean. Dunks, get back, brother. These are not for you. He wants them, though. Dunks, actually, legit stop. I'm sorry, Dunks. You'll get your own stream soon. You may not know when. You may not know why. But it'll come. Okay. We've removed the first layer of Amazon Prime packaging. 
The overwhelming smell of Sharpie marker has flooded my room. There may be anthrax in this package. This may be it. I may be the biggest April Fool of all. What actually is this? Hold up. Oh, it's in lovely little packaging. Hold up. There's like a little star packaging for some of these. One of them fell out. What's this little note say? It's a little handwritten note with a little penguin on it. It says, Thanks for buying this primate Melton unknown Axuan mischievous. If you like your order, please leave feedback. And then their name on eBay. I'm sorry, I have very big trouble reading cursive. What a lovely note. What a nice individual. First things first, as uh, here's the one that fell out of its packaging. Uh, it's unknown. Look at him. I don't remember what letter this is. I'm sorry. I'm not a real Pokemon professional. Uh, I would say that's like a B or a Y if I had to guess. I'm going to lay him flat over here. Then, right here, oh, this, this, one's, this one's very neatly sealed. I don't know if these came in this packaging or if she put the packaging on them. This is Axu using Draco Meteor. Look at that. He's got he's got a big blasty going. We'll put him over here with Reggie Gigas getting ready to fire. And then we've got Mischievous. This one's for Kimmy. This is this was this is one of Kimmy's I'm not gonna say one of her favorite Pokemon. It might be. She really loves Mischievous. It was her first shiny in Pokemon Go. Uh, she wanted me to buy the Mercari lot that had Mischievous in it. I did not, but I compromised and I bought Mischievous. This is Melton. He's probably one of the most recent finger figures that I have purchased. Uh, he came out, I believe, last year, maybe the year before last as a finger figure. He's very nice. Put him over here. And this one, this is the whole reason I even looked this person set. This one, I bought a lot of these super cheap. I think I got the Unknown for a dollar. Maybe, I think the Mischievous and the Axu I got for like a dollar or two as well. And, you know, she was nice enough to combine them all, so I only had to pay the shipping price for one. Uh, and so I bought a figure to lump them all together with for the shipping price, and I bought Primeape. Now, um, in fairness, in fairness, this is not the Primeape I purchased. I have to be honest here. The photo that was shown was a Primeape with Ash's hat and a championship belt. I have to, I have to, I have to be fair. This is not what I purchased. Am I upset that I have a Primeape figure? No, but it, it isn't what I paid for. I, I I gotta be fair on that note. I know this is a it's a positive stream, but I'm also not a pushover. So those are the basic individual purchases that I made. Those are the regular purchases I made. There are three more packages here, all right? And the first of which is a hefty boy. And that is 100 finger figures, which I paid $100 for after tax and shipping. So it comes out to $1 per figure. As I'm going to try very difficultly to open this. Now, I did a quick skim of these figures when I saw the lot on eBay. And to my knowledge, right? To my from what I am aware of, there should only be one duplicate in this entire lot of 100 of something that we've already purchased. So, hopefully, that's the case. Now, I will say, I kind of expected these to come in a box. Uh, they do appear to all be crammed into this bag. Not too excited about that, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not thrilled about all of them being jammed in a hundred figures in this single bag. Okay, we've got it opened enough. A lot of these are probably going to end up going in the drawer, so we're going to do this quick. We're just going to reach and pull it out. we got a ducklet. He's a little dirty, but you know what? He's looking, he's looking A-OK. -okay. I'm okay with him being a little dirty, a tiny bit of paint missing. I can fig I can clean him. I can ignore a little bit of dirt missing. It's for my own personal collection. It's not like I'm going to flip this in 40 years for hundreds of dollars, right? Got moth him, you know, the male evolution of the Burmese. He's a big moth guy. The really good ones I'll still put in the background, even though you can't really see the background right now. Uh, Happini, this is a nice one, a little chunky lad. Again, a lot of these are just like a little bit dirty, but I can just wipe them down with a little towel. He got he fatty. He got a fat guy. 
I feel like maybe I need to increase the uh, the zoom a little bit, I should say, probably. Give me a second here. Let me hit the properties. Let me go to configure video. I'm used to showing off trading cards with these settings, and so I realize these settings very well may not be what's needed to show off like a figure or something, you know? Frosty left immediately. He stayed longer than he wants to admit. Is that too focused? That is. I think this is good. I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. He is writing a paper. Don't bother Frosty. I'm, I'm messing with him. Don't bother him. He's writing a paper. Ultra's watching a different streamer, but you know what? They all showed up. Jose, you showed up. Sean showed up. Zach showed up. I don't know if Zach's still here. Everyone who showed up, very important to me. Everyone who sticks around to the very end, even more important to me. Look at that Togepi. That's a that's a big egg. With a, it's a little cracked, but you know what? That We're all a little cracked on the butt, aren't we? What's this? What's what's reaching in here? You're still here on your phone? Hell yeah, brother. Dang's dabbing. Dabbing dab me out. Dab me, me dab. 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 Pogs in the chat for dab. Panther's here in spirit. I can't believe Panther's dead. Zorua. So it's a good nice Zorua figure. Put him in the in the drawer, though, however. He's not that nice. Dab. Furret. I bought Kimmy a furret plush recently. There's no reason. It was just part of my binge of money. Furret's nice. Dab, dab, dab. Zorara is your favorite. Now, does that mean Zorua, Zoruark, or Zeroora? Because that seems like a weird mix of all of them. Oh, here we have a nice, lovely Gligar. Um, he's looking real good. I'm a big Gligar fan. You spelled it wrong. Eventually, a missing report turns into a murder case. Duskull Supremacy. Maybe a Duskull will show up in here. You know who is showing up? Scraggy. You know what? I, I hate Scraggy. You don't know how to spell Zorua. At least I know which one you're talking about now. I, I hate Scraggy. Pull, learn to pull up your pants, right? Who, who made a Pokemon with pants? They don't even fit right. Scraggy sucks. He's real stupid. Okay. All right. This is one I didn't expect. Lucario setting up an Aura Sphere. That's a nice little surprise figure. I glance these. Most of these are going to be surprised to me. Listen, I'm not getting weird here or anything. They give Lucario... What are you, What the hell? Why is his feet so big? They gave Lucario some massive feet. What, were, what was Bandai thinking, you know? Oh, this is this a big one? Never mind, I dropped the big one. We're going to do Mime Jr. instead. This, kinda, this one kind of looks like a bootleg, to be honest. This one, this one doesn't... I mean, it is legit. But it ain't looking right for a mind junior. Yeah, yeah, I've tweeted this. Uh, Bandai sent me uh, the full set of Digimon TCG promo cards in English, as well as like a Dragon Ball promo card. And then they sent me all the promos a second time. Oh, yeah, this one's for Sam. This is n not for Sam. This is. This is. Duck has the zombie virus. I want you to understand. The camera. It, they're, they're looking a lot prettier on the camera than they are here. Most of them doesn't matter. This Psyduck is not long for this world. This is the this is the, the most ill Pokemon I've ever seen in my life. That shade on his bill and feet that you were seeing is nothing compared to the shade it is in real life. Okay, who we got here? Ooh, he's T-posing! T-posing Kecleon. Sam <laughs> loves it. T-posing Kecleon. Look at him. This is like you steal your you steal from the item. You steal from uh you steal from the shop in Mystery Dungeon, and then here he comes to stop you. Put him over here. Bog. I feel another round lad in here. Ooh, that's a nice spinda. I like the shading on this spinda. It's very pleasant. 
I'm like trying to stand them up in the drawer, but that's very dumb of me. I shouldn't be doing that. Staravia, speaking of alphas. Apex bird here, nice big tuft of feather on its hair. Dunks is literally ripping his toy apart as we speak. Oh, okay, legendary, out of nowhere. Uh, Keldeo with magic sword horn. Uh, and it looks like a piece of corn. It looks like a corn cob. Dunks, quit tearing your toy up. Are the Spinda figures all randomly patterned like the Mons? That's a very interesting, it's a great question. I would say, I would guess not, but I, I don't know. Here's, uh, here's Starly, the pre-evolution of Staravia, or Staraptor, Staraptor being the one we found. Dunks, don't touch that. Don't touch that. That's for later. Don't touch that. That's one of the surprise purchases. Uh, Timber, getting ready for his hard-working construction job. He's a tough guy. I'm at the point where I'm just chunking him in the drawer now. I'm not, like, breaking him or anything, but I can't stand them all up. Ooh, baby! This is one of them I was tempted to buy in the Mercari lot, so I'm glad we got him here. We got Pinsir. And he, he's ready to go! He's got, he's got the he's Scott Steiner pumped up. Big Papa Pince, if you will. Look at that. That's just lovely. That's just pleasant. Nice curly there. She's just happy to be here. How encouraging, really. I wish the Spinda figures were randomly designed. Zatu, of course. Sing into the future. Did not mean to sit that in the one. Sitting Curlia. The rare and exclusive limited chase figure, Curlia, who is sitting down. Speaking of sitting down, Bunny. I don't know how many of these we've gone through. There it is! There's the one duplicate I knew of. Ba 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 da! Ba 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 da! Ba 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 da! They're really fat! That's right, one of you people viewing here today could walk away with your own fat ladybug. And by one of you people, I mean one of you people who lives down the street from me who's watching this. So, uh, if you want a fat ladybug, come on down! Nidorina! She looks completely different, depending on how you view her. Uh, ooh, okay. That was my stomach growling. I'm very hungry. I'll buy dupes. Well, I paid a dollar for him. So you can probably just have him, to be honest with you. I love the cloud of smoke coming out of Torkoal. That's a very nice Torkoal. Guess I'm moving to a new home. Oh, okay. This is like this is like the first one that looks like an actual just regular finger puppet. Get a, get a little smooch. You can go right there. All right, what's next? Great Torkoal. Uh, rare limited edition. Uh, Piplup screaming at you. For eating the last Totino's pizza roll. That was a weird crossover they did. Very strange. Don't really understand. It was never mentioned again. Can't find it anywhere. Uh, my finger almost... I just popped the camera. Uh, my finger almost does not fit in Perugly. Despite how fat she is. So that's real weird. Uh, okay. Another legendary. Uh, Celebi. With a fat head. Just a fat onion head. Look at that. It's a little dirty, but you know what? It's it's like it's because they take the antenna, they plaster it on the head. Chunky. I get that it's just probably like the nature of making finger figures. It's weird how f fat so many of these are. Look at that. That's a nice. That's a Cedra, of course. I, this I thought this was an indent for a second. It's not. It's just flat and hard. Gallade, evolution of Curlia, if he's male and you use a Dawnstone. Very specific. Could have been dabbing. It's not dabbing, though. It's going to have to deduct some points for the non-dabbing Gallade. Uh, Excadrill, massive mole, ready to dig, ready to climb. These are all very nice. These are all on both like better quality design than I expect them to be. We have a good Steelix. He's so small. Look at that hole. 
We have a tiny baby, Steelix. Whoa. He doesn't look like a fucking penis. You get to stay on camera just because of that. Just kidding. I put you behind the bag. Steelix with no ball. Does Steelix with no nuts? Yeah, that's a double play. That's a double play on Tondra because nuts are also metal tools that you can use with with bolts and whatnot. Steelix being a steel type Pokemon, it really hits the joke home. Uh, Hydreigon. It's weird how like we talk about how fat some of these are. This is a weirdly long Hydreigon. Did you know that Dinos, Lilas, and Hydreigon are named after the German numbers for one, two, and three? I could be pronouncing that wrong, but the fun fact remains the same nonetheless. Not only a double entendre, but a whole bar. That's another double entendre, because a bar is also made of metal. Radicate. Okay, this is this is technically not a duplicate, because this is Buneary, but not sitting down. Bandai does this. They do this a lot. There's a lot of finger figures that are the same Pokemon, but in slightly different poses. I remember they they released like six Eternatus figures at the same time. Oh, this is listen. This is not a T pose. It might as well be a T pose. This is this is very close to T posing Scyther. I was wondering if that was the case. Yeah, man. This is very close to T posing Scyther. Uh, Blossom. Very lovely. Lots of leaves. How's the finger figures? They're looking great. They're well made. Most of them are in real good condition. Oh yeah, boys! We're going to the moon. This is. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just gonna gorilla glue this one on. This one is just gonna be my finger from now on. This is my actual new pinky finger. Um, gaming will be very difficult for me, but I hope you all understand. That I've already had some changes happen to my body that I'm not happy about. I might as well get one that I am happy about. Uh, why, this is really just Parasite the Maxim on Netflix. Really? Oh, I don't... You know what? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe, maybe that's too much power for me to have. Clearly, I can't be controlled. Careful if you get two of them, they'll turn into Metang. Oh, there we go. It's Mime Jr., but he's ready to commit domestic abuse. That's a, that's a rare exclusive chase from Bandai. This time, the child's hitting back. Then we have Shaman Skyform. This always looked like a watermelon to me. And that's all I have to say about Shaman Skyform. He fell down. We still got more. We're still digging. We're still rooting in there. Oh, okay. I really like this one for some reason. Octillery. He's got some big old octopus tentacles. Because, in case you're unaware, this is an octopus and they have tentacles. Horrifying Mime Jr. Marshtomp, very, he's just happy to be included. He's just happy to be here. Into the drawer. Um, less fat. Larvitar, but lean. Let's get a Larvitar comparison. I don't know where he is. I, I think I put him in the drawer, actually. I think I put the other Larvitar in the drawer. I did, but he's right here. A Larvitar comparison. But before and after Whopper Wednesday at Burger King. Who's next? Uh, Bronzong. He's a bell. A lot of Gen 4 in here. Fine by me. That, you know what? I said that. It seems it's probably just like an even mix of everything. Um, all old, which is fine by me. Because obviously the newer ones, the more recent ones, they're going to be a lot easier to get my hands on. But I would like to get some newer ones in here. Slacking, but shockingly small. Considering he's slacking. That's real small. That's It's also like very tiny. Almost impossible to get my finger in that one. Don't take any, don't take a single clip from this stream out of context. What is this? Oh, it's Pelipper! I want you to know this 
felt like a metal. This felt like one of those metal Pokeballs that you have, like, a little Pokemon figure inside. I actually thought I was about to pull out one of those metal Pokeballs. Rhyperior. I thought he had a hole in his hand, uh, similar to the Mercari ones, but that's actually just the hole he already has in his hand for shooting rocks at people. This is, might be, like, the... Not counting Psyduck, this might be the dirtiest finger. Psyduck was, like, sick. This one's, like, like legitimately dirty, Aldino. Someone needs to heal her up. Oh! I was like, why is this one so wide? That's why it's so wide, baby! Don't let him near the Beldum. They'll get stuck together. Because he's a magnet. Get it? Oh! <gasps> I want you to all get a good look at the, this one. I want you to all get a good look at this one, okay? And I want you to get a good look at this one because Kimmy will steal this one from me. It, it doesn't matter. I'm like, there's like a 99%. I want to make it right clear, right? And this is how we're going to know, right? This is how we're going to know. I'm going to send this video to Kimmy. I'm going to say, Kimmy, here's the April Fool stream if you would like to look at my finger figures. And she's gonna be like, oh, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll get to the time, you know. Oh, cool, maybe I'll check it out. She's probably not gonna check it out, but if she does, Kimmy, I'm talking directly to you right now. You keep your fucking hands off my skitty holding a ball. And you know what she's gonna do if she sees this? She's gonna text me. She's like, I'm taking that skitty. It's exactly what's gonna happen here. So when you find my body, all right. I yelled that really loud. When you find my body in the in the in the Suez Canal, I want you to t clip that on Twitch and send it to every uh, senator you're aware of, and be like, "Look at this! Look at what's happening in the streets." Far fetched, underrated Pokemon. Shout out to Kowakalin. The nicknamed Farfetch from one of the early games. Is this a second Raticate? Is this the same Raticate? Is this a duplicate? It's not. They are different. This is regular. This is like a small Raticate. This is like Chungus Raticate. It's also like this one is like a horrifying, like fucked Eldritch tail. This one just has like a, a rat tail. This is uh, a graphic imagery for the next thing I'm about to say. Like, I'm going to put a zoo reel on the screen while I say this next graphic bit of imagery. Uh, I, there was a dead rat on my driveway the other day because we have cats that live in our carport. And they like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be as undescriptive as possible so you don't picture it. They split the rat skin down the middle and peeled it like a banana. And then just left it on our driveway for like a full day. <laughs> And then when I came back and there was nothing left but the tail. And I was like, well, that was a literal fucking nightmare. Vespa Queen. Do you say Vespa Queen or Vespa Quinn? I'm not asking you which one's correct. I say Vespa Queen. I want to know what your opinion is. I want to know what you say at home. Vespa Quinn or Vespa Queen? This is Stunky. He looks like a South Park character in this figure. Just to be very clear, this is the largest portion of the stream, like... There's, I have two more packages. They're not going to take anywhere near as long as this does. They're all far shorter. Chat hot. Remember the move Chatter from the Diamond, Pearl, and maybe Platinum games? You used it, and you could use a Nintendo DS, the mic that's built into it, to say something. And then whenever you used Chatter, um, it would repeat what you said. And obviously they got rid of it because everyone just kept saying swear words. I can't tell if this is Pidgeotto with paint spilled on him, or if it's Pidgeotto, I'm sorry, not Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, using Steel Wing. And I want to say it's Pidgeot using Steel Wing, because this seems like too neat to be just a paint spill. We're just going to say that's a rare, exclusive Pidgeot using Steel Wing chase. I always said the F word, you're part of the problem. Uh, you know who's not part of the problem? Ludicolo and his giant gaping mouth.
Weedle. Significantly less fat than Caterpie, but he's ready to go. He's ready for a tussle. He's ready to brawl. I can tell you we're, we're over halfway through this box of 100. Uh, Skarmory, who's I can't put my finger in him, he's throwing up a single wing. He said, this is it. This is past the halfway point. Get ready, everyone. I don't even know if that one can stand up. That one seems very uneven. Uh, Nido King, very good. You'll love to see him. He's a classic. Love Nido King. You know who I don't love? Gogowo. I don't even know if this is Gogowo or if this is the if Gogowo is the smaller goat. I think that's Gogowo. Dunks fell asleep with his toy in his mouth. And to go alongside Mothim, we have Beautifly. Uh, are Mothim and Beautifly related in the slightest? No, no. I'm thinking of Dustox, but it doesn't matter. Skiddo is the baby. Wow, those names are absolutely nothing alike whatsoever. Uh, no. Uh oh, boys. We got ourselves another Doopy on our hands. Uh oh, gamers. Is this one? This one I think is. It's like a trade up. The orange on this one is a little better. But this one doesn't have the weird markings in the blue. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a double wash row, Tom, right there. A kid is a baby goat. Oh, and that's why it's called Skiddo. You know what? I know a lot of... I take it back. This is the dirtiest... I shouldn't touch this with my hands. That's a guard of war, and it's the dirtiest figure I've touched. I need to... Like, I should... I gotta wash my hands immediately after this. But at least Shroomish is perfect. Just as always. See, the Skiddo thing makes a lot more sense now. And you know what? I know a lot of Pokemon trivia. I don't know uh, stupid goat trivia. Boy, they gotta do my girl Guard of War dirty. Oh, brother. You know why. Look at that. Look at those jowls! He's built different! Okay, great detail, great detail. You can actually see the sand coming out of one of his little pores. That's a great detail. Oh, yeah. Look at Laron. Good, strong metal. Who's coming out? Oh, he's fading. He's like a ghost. It's so, like, it doesn't come out well on camera. It's such a faded, like, it's more brownish gray than it is whatever color Snorlax is supposed to be. I love him, though. If he's just old and wise. Delcaddy. Given a wink? I don't like that. I, don't, you know, I, don't, I like Wink and Chingling. I don't know if I like Wink and Delcanny. I, I, I don't know about that one. Uh, Superior. I notice I don't get finger figures for a lot of middle evolutions. Uh, and you know what? Maybe that's for the better. I don't like a lot of middle evolutions. I feel like a lot of people don't like a lot of middle evolutions. And here we go. Uh, to go along with uh, Beautifly and Mothim, we have Venomoth. This one's for you, Zach. I know how much you love Mothim. Who's next? Uh, the, the Pogs. Pogs. He's dabbing. He's dabbing, everyone. He's dabbing. Get the Pogs in. He's hitting the dab, everyone. Boy's dabbing me out. They're going to be dab brothers. They're dabbing. I just knocked over Reggie Steel and Gliger, but it doesn't matter. Everyone's dabbing. Sorry, is that a dabbing Lucario emote? No, it's just a Lucario emote. Yo, Rio! <laughs> Slugma. I really like this Slugma figure, and I don't know why. Something about it feels right. Big Slugma fan. So reaching in. Alright, congratulations, Guard of War. You're no longer the dirtiest finger figure, and I don't know if it's better or worse. <laughs> that Pelipper. And you know what? No, that's 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 fucking dirt. I might throw this one in bleach. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I want that one with the others. Floatzel. Very fashionable lady. I will wash him. Oh, these two are brothers. These two were brothers. These two were hanging out. This one's using his own finger figure. I swear to God, they came out like this.
Dude, that's a team right there. These the brothers. They're two brothers and they don't go nowhere without each other. Look at that. Dude, look at his head, dude. Dude, look at his head. Dude. This one's throwing up the gang signs. But these brothers back together. Two brothers don't go nowhere without each other. I'm going to put them next to that. That one is fisting the other. No, they're finger figures. It's okay. Is this duplicate Hippini? Pop. No. Well. Enhance. Is this literally just Hippini, but it's slightly fatter? Hold up. Hold up. Is it actually just Hippini, but slightly fatter? Bandai. Bandai. <laughs> I think we're we're maybe stretching things a little thin here, for in, in new different figures. It's just I hate saying this about Happini. It's literally just Happini and then Happini with a fatter ass. Why are you like this Bandai? They came out in the same year too. Which, by the way, by the way, if anyone wants to feel uh stupid old. Copyright Bandai 2006. Diamond and Pearl came out in 2006, everyone. Me when I realized Diamond and Pearl came out in 2006. Or earlier. A peony promoting exercise and a healthy diet. And having a fat ass. This is a, this is a big surprise. I did not know this was in here. I almost paid $17 for a lot of three Rayquazas, and none of them were this one, which is coiled like a snake. This is arguably of the three Ray of the four Rayquaza now that I've seen, this is probably the best actual figure of them. Though I do love vomiting Rayquaza and Rayquaza who screams at the sky. Okay, brother. Bar for a closet. What is this? Dude, what is this head? Bruh. Bruh. He's ready. He's ready to go. He's kind of built when you set him down. He kind of got a stance on him. Okay. Skarmory using steel wing. This one is for sure steel wing. Because both of the wings are using steel wing. They're also, they look a little double layered too. Very nice. Steel wing Skarmory. Whose wings are always steel. We're very low here. We're getting we're getting right to the end. Hey, woo. I have so much Bonsley merch. Is Steel Wing it's Steel Wing, not Steel Wings. Yeah, but it's Skarmory, so gets into the Shadow Realm. Dork. Is this Meryl's face drawn on? Is its a nose and mouth just drawn on with a marker? Bro. Alright. Super rare exclusive chase. Uh, one in one million. Torchic who ate one Carolina Reaper. Bruh. Put it back here. Listen, we're at the point where they're not even going to stand up anymore. They're going to start falling over. Ember. And to go hand in hand with Mockdem. It's Grass Burmy. That's right, they made one for the Burmies. For all the Burmies. Trash Burmy, Sand Burmy, and I got Grass Burmy. Yeah. We're reaching in now. Ooh, okay. You're a little dirty, but I feel like you you're like the you're like stained dirty. Where it's like you're like a weird yellow color, but it's probably just because you're old and white. Just like, uh, I was gonna say, just like my dad, but he's not really all that white. He's really, he's like, he's a lot more, he's not dark skinned. He's like, he, my dad ain't white, he's Caucasian. You got, I'm, I'm pretty white. Oh, look at that. Until I go out in the sun for more than 30 minutes, and then I just fucking turn into a cooked sausage. Flabibbit. I wonder if there's a Flabebe like me. My dad is very much like your skin color, Zach. Chunky. 
chunky. Chunky. Do you know, anytime there is a gust of wind, hoppips fly away and fucking die. Lightly toasted white man, exactly. Sausage. Gligar, sitting, but also excited. Uh, he look he looks normal here, and I tilt him up, and he looks real wide. Thought he was a fatty for a second when I looked at the camera, but nope, it was just how I was holding him. Alright, we're very low. We're, like, right at the end. Uh, Shaman Skyform again? Okay, Bandai. This is just Shaman Skyform, but the green's a slightly different shade. And also, he's tilting his head a little. Uh-oh. I gotta, I gotta get the, I gotta get the, the dude off the ground. He fell. There we go. Set him down there. Three left. Three left. Three very big ones left. Well, I mean, this one's gonna be pretty average. Uh, Azumarill. We got the entire Azumarill to Azumarill line. I'm finally done. Fuck, now I need to watch the puppet finger cult. Hey, at least you showed up for the surprises, right? Because we're, we're finishing up the 100 box, right? We got two left in here. And coming out first, there it is, the boy. T-Posing Tyranitar. I loaded up the eBay page and I saw Tyranitar T-Posing. And I said, you know what? That's I gotta make that purchase. That's the kind of purchase I gotta make. And then they're friends. And they hold hands. And the final figure of this 100 figure lot. B barrel. Look at that. So, still not done, obviously. Like I said, I made two surprise purchases, right? No one, no one is aware of these. That's not true. People might be aware of this one. I think I may have talked about this one. And that's because what we have here is 24 mystery figures. Pokemon finger figures. It is a lot of 24 mysteries. Unlike this 100, there was no image. You know, I, I was surprised by some of these because I it was one image of 100. I didn't go into fine detail looking at them and everything. Uh, I have Beaver, the clearly inferior Beaver Pokemon. But... But, you know, but, this is a full mystery. We could get all duplicates from this. Every single one of these we could have. And we're going to find out right now. It's basically a mystery box of Pokemon finger figures. Since, you know, actually, they used to come in blind boxes, but it's extremely hard to find blind boxes of them anymore. In fact, you can't. There's really only one place to buy actual blind boxes from, like, older sets. All the others have basically been opened, and you gotta buy them from, like, other people. And then the new figures, they just come where you know you mean. Okay, first figure. First figure. Alright, main trick. Listen, we're hoping for cool ones. They could all be mucks. This dude could have packaged me 24 mucks. I wanna give a shout-out to this person, by the way. Because it's technically a lot of mystery, either mystery finger figures, or, like, the little Tomy action figures. Um, and it was like, you know, you're mostly going to get finger figures, but maybe you'll get some Tommy figures. Maybe you won't. It's random. And I messaged him and I was like, listen, I know you said it's random and it is. So I'll accept whatever I get. But it seems pretty clear that like you consider finger figures to be the bad pull because you might always like, oh, you might get all finger figures. I'm like, can I just get all finger figures? And he was like, yeah, absolutely. No problem, brother. <gasps> and he pogged me up. He said, you know what, I'll give you the best finger figures. Get that gibble in there, load them up. He juiced this package. That was clearly one of the big rares he was putting aside just for me. Ah, duplicate ducklet. You hate to see it happen. 24 bruxish. I can't remember if that's the stupid rainbow fish or if that's... No, that breaks and is the middle evolution of Finnegan. I would love 24 Stunfisk. I would hate 24 Stunfisk. I would love 24 Galarian Stunfisk. Kranidos? Getting ready for a headbutt. It's almost a T-pose, but he's got his head tilted a little bit. He's got fat dumpy, though. Ugly rainbow fish, yeah. For a second, I was thinking it was the evolution of Finnekin. Yo, what is this? Bro, what is this one? 
It's like a electric. Is it Pikachu using Electro Ball? That's pretty sick, honestly. Not quite as sick as Skitty playing with a ball. Poggin for Kranidos. Just laying down 24 bear trap fish. Also, Weavile. Locked and ready to load. I haven't been counting how many we've pulled out, so it's just going to end when it ends. <gasps> Yo, he's kind of dirty, and that sucks. Is that a Pikachu with an unfinished cake? I did think it was a big popcorn ball when I pulled it out. He got a little cut on his tongue, and that sucks. But you know what? I love lick a tongue nonetheless. That's a big one for me. If I could get a licky licky, I'd be pogging. Oh, dude, absolutely ripped. Machomp, this is what I would be looking like if I didn't go through my horrible physical appearance transformation recently. He is kind of dirty, though. Is the he, He's actually... Someone may have drawn a mustache on this Machomp. Quite frankly, I respect it. Thought it was pink, too. Thought it was cake too. That's gotta be painful. Ooh! Electrovire with the grabby hands! That's a big one. This is one that I very heavily considered buying when I was buying the individual ones. So I'm very glad I didn't. It was very nice to get him. I've done very good with uh, duplicates so far. Get a little Sinchino here. Think this one's Sinchino? I'm pretty sure it is. But, you know, Minchino, Sinchino. Who really knows? That's what I'm talking about, baby! That's what I like to see. Another win for the good guys. Damn, it feels good to be hashtag Ali. This is a different Star Raptor, I think. I think the other one didn't have its wings out. I found it. Yes, this is these are two different Star Raptors. Bro. Oh, this is a dude I didn't even realize I wanted until I had him in my hands. Caracosta. Big turtle boy. Dude, I love the fossils. I hope I, 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 hope I get more uh, fossils. Tangrowth. You love, you love to see a chunky lad. It's, real, it's a bit of a smaller chunky lad, but chunky nonetheless. Drillbur. To go along with Excadrill. Caracosta, pretty cool. Absolutely. And I want to I I thank everyone again. I want to thank everyone again for showing up to the Finger Figure stream as we get ready to wind it down. Uh, this is the most viewers I've had in a while, which is the funniest thing uh, ever. He threw in a legendary, but to be fair, the legendary does look like it was put into a wood chipper. It's not, this legendary is not looking good. Maybe this will easily wash off. I'm not sure. You could probably use some isopropyl alcohol, probably clean some of these boys up. Is he okay? I don't think so, brother. I think that's Kane without the mask. That almost looks like me right now, to be honest with you. Somebody calm Fida. Oh, look at that. That's a, that's the, he got the thick Rhyperior. The, the Bungus Rhyperior. Yeah. Alright. How many more are left in here? Let's feel around. There's a few left. Oh, wait. There's something else in here. This is a, I got a sticker. I got a bootleg Mewtwo sticker. This is a real mystery box. This is basically a loot crate right here. This just turned into a Pokemon loot crate. That's a rare. That's a mega rare Chase Red Wiener Mewtwo sticker. Bootleg. I think it's the only one in there too. That's like the only. That's the only uh sticker. I should have been counting. I feel like maybe he gave me more than twenty four. Pretty shitty finger figure. That's a smash color. Absol. That's pretty nice. It's nice Absol. Kimmy, if you're watching this because you're a good friend. Who actually paid attention when I sent it to you. If you're a good friend who cares about my likes and interests. Please rewind this video and count how many have come out of this. It's another duplicate. But you know that's a good duplicate right there. Considering Zach's interested in the duplicates. I'm putting the duplicates to the side. But I forgot to put a couple of the duplicates to the side. So I gotta find them later. What is this one? <gasps> oh Zach. Oh Zach brother. Oh Zach. Zach's about to fucking pop.
pop off. Let's go! He's high five, and you're right. Next pull is the cover of the next Pokemon dungeon. Yeah, man, Kimmy, I'm gonna talk to you, but it costs extra to attend the stream. Please do not bully Kimmy. This is a no bully Kimmy zone, and I'm not just saying that. Uh. I'm not just saying that because she might be watching. That's a Rattata sticker. That's a regular Rattata sticker. You bully her at the start? Uh, I have no recollection of this. She probably saw that and left. Magmortar. Was that Simi Sage? No, actually, someone stuck a pile of shit in my bag. Um. <laughs> I can't believe this. I mean, that's gonna have to knock it down to at least a four star. Really mad, unprofessional. Charmander sticker. I do like I, I yeeted it into the drawer and I, and I hit like a good figure and I'm like, oh god, I hope I didn't hurt the good figure. Damn Isaac puppet. Um, Togetic, but extremely dirty. I would not buy one of these mystery boxes again. Too many of these are, like, really dirty. There are some really good ones in here, don't get me wrong, but some of these are clearly, uh, garbage. But sometimes you get one that makes all up for it. Let's go. DNA Deoxys. I wanted so many of the Deoxys. There's so many Deoxys figures. Final figure, by the way. Final figure, final figure, final figure. Final figure. You know what? That's a good one. That's a good final pull of the mystery box. We got Kang is Khan. Look at that. Look at that giant dinosaur tail. Look at that. Look at all of these. It's it's like at a slant. Look at that. It is, there's no... You can't see them because the focus isn't on, but whatever. Now, I have one last package here tonight before we end this off. Look at that blur. Look at that. That's what I see when I take my glasses off. Not that my glasses fit anymore, but that's besides the point. What I have right here is a very special package. Alright? I've been meaning to buy this one literally for about a year and a half since I learned about Pokemon Finger Figures. I have here Three unopened original Pokemon finger figure boxes from Japan. From the original run, the original set in, I believe, 1996. These are the final three things we will be opening. I only purchased three of them. They are not cheap. Only purchased three of them. Uh, it did. They were nice. I bought them from kaijulegion.com. They came with... Uh, these look like little G.I. Joe characters. It came with, it came with some little funky stuff. Actually, there's multiple, I see a little Godzilla in here. Why do you do this? What is, what are these? A little plastic mans. That's like a little gargoyle, man. I don't know what he's from. Um, we got... This is actually like a naked man. It might be Dr. Manhattan, but yellow. Uh, but I'm not gonna put him on camera. Because he has ass cheeks. I think this one is a transformer, but I'm not positive. And then right here, he looks like a he looks like a GI Joe villain. This one's like rubber. They're like they're like flexible. Massive sneeze in the other room, everyone. Can I get some gesundheit, uh in the chat, spelled correctly? Uh, some other things in here. Hop toys, high on plastic. I don't really know what that means, to be honest with you. Don't do drugs, kids. Damn, it's voice activated. We have uh, a rainbow Illuminati sticker. Kachina, 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 Kachina.com. Instagram, Kachina, Kachina. I don't know what that means. Uh, that's not who I bought this from. Uh, Sputnik Supplies. This is just the this is the sponsorship. Thank you to all my sponsors. 
Um, very special sponsorship to this swarm sticker. Another sticker for the things. And finally, a very big thank you uh, to our most important sponsor of all, uh, Godzilla. Couldn't have done it without you all. Really, uh, Godzilla paid for these three figures here. Also, the fact that I pulled an Urshifu VMAX that goes for like $70. That also paid for a lot of this. Also, really, Bandai paid for a chunk of this for sending me two Dragon Ball promo cards that at the time were worth 40 bucks For literally no reason. So now, before we send off, I have to, I'm sorry, I have to answer a very important text message, like a legit important one. No, he didn't own it, Trey. Gesundheit? Uh, Godzilla did not pay for these. At all. Uh, Bandai paid for at least... I would say Bandai at least paid for the mystery box. By sending me a random Dragon Ball promo. Dude, I hate this packaging. I want it to be air sealed. I don't want no air bubbles in here. But it, there's got air bubbles in it. Okay, we're good now. We're solid. Here we go. We're opening these, by the way. We're, they, we're not, yeah, we're like, we're actually opening these unopened boxes. I'm gonna keep the boxes, you know, but we're open. We're busting them open. So, again, they could be anything. They did come with, don't look at the price tags. Uh, they could be things we already have. Or they could be classic you know, rare, never-before-seen figures. Uh, I believe that... I don't know if this is the set that... It, if they had already introduced shiny and clear finger figures in these sets, we theoretically could get them. We could get... a clear Porygon. A shiny Porygon. Are y'all ready? A small... a very small piece of trash just fell into the finger figure drawer, but I got it. Black... White or green? We're gonna go. We're gonna. We're gonna open. We're gonna open white first. Thankfully, it's blurred, so you can't see the price tag. We're gonna. We're gonna go through this together. It says pull here. I can't read Japanese. How do you open this? Do I just? Okay, I'll just do that. Black. We'll do black next. We'll save green for last. Here we go. It's not the not the cleanest opening. And inside of our white packaging, brand new finger figure is some expired candy. You know, they put candy in these so they can sell them in the toy aisle to lure kids in even more. And then also contained within is... There's no fucking way. Okay, there actually isn't no way. What, I don't know what this is. This is like a tiny, like, collect them all card. We did not get Zabdos. I'll tell you that right now. By the way, these are called Pokemon Kids figures. Eat, 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 eat. I might eat one of them, okay? Just because you all showed up and stayed till the end. Uh, the figure out of our white packaging is... Da, 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 da. It's Dratini and he's horribly disintegrated and miscolored over time despite being new in the box the card is kind of in better condition than the figure is he actually feels very bad it's like it's like actually eroded this might have been a mistake buying these it probably was a mistake opening these it's like rough it's got like a scaly texture like a real dratini would because i guess like it's like aged to shit <laughs> It's not been, like, well-preserved <laughs> inside this box. Okay. Um, black one next. Hoping for something real cool here. That isn't horribly disintegrated. Okay, as usual. What kind of candy is it? That's the question. We got a, a Pidgeot card. That isn't Mewtwo. Wait a minute, that's right, this box had Mewtwo on it. What kind of candy is this? 
Dude, it's like the hard powder candy. I actually probably shouldn't eat this. I'm I'm really fucking scared. <laughs> I also don't want to touch it with my hands because I've been touching these fucking finger figures. And I've seen how dirty some of them are. You can, you can like, see my shadow. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit the mic. You can, like, see my shadow going for it. Eh. Eh. I'm gonna be honest with you. Maybe it's because I only ate one of them. And they're, as you can tell, they're very small. I ate one. There was no flavor. It's, there was nothing. And that's probably just how it is because they're so old. They smell very good when you open them. There's no flavor. I probably shouldn't eat more. Did you actually eat it? Listen, I, I promise you I actually eat I will do it next to the mic. I'll do it right next to the mic, okay? Okay, let me let me put one in my hand. Okay, actually, let me put one in my hand. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this right up to my mouth. I'm gonna do it next to the mic. Okay. It's nothing. There's no flavor. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing on the off chance that something. Unhealthy will happen to me if I eat them. <laughs> You're gonna get superpowers. I mean, this is, this is just just to prove just to just to prove a point. Okay, you can see my shadow here and everything. I'm not dumbing them. You would hit them. If, you would hear them if they hit the floor, right? You go in my mouth. I'll crunch them, right? This is how people die. Superpowers? You're gonna get superpowers. You're the one that chanted eat. Why are you losing it now? I don't half-ass April Fools, okay? That actually did kind of have a flavor after I ate three of them at once, so that scares me a little. Shelter! He's fat too. Yeah man, they're like weirdly scaly. I'm curious, I should get like a little bit of water and rub these down a little bit and see if that makes them smoother. Remember me when you take over the world. I'll remember everyone who showed up to this stream and stayed till the end. Uh, I really like this shelter. I really, it's actually not faded at all. It's got like a little rough texture at the top. My mouth feels funny. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe it's a good thing the stream's ending. I might need to go to the bathroom. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna open this. Oh, I got a headache. <laughs> oh, fuck me. He's fading quickly. I have a shoot headache now. The final one. The final one. This is the candy. Ugh. <laughs> We're losing him, brothers. Ivysaur. The final figure. Here it is. The, fi it's the final figure of the whole stream. This is it. This is the last figure. You've made it, everyone. Ba -ba -ba -dum. It's Needle King. But he's different from the other Needle King I have. His chest is wet. He's got a wet chest for some reason. <laughs> He's actually perfect condition. He's actually perfectly fine. That being said, some of these that I just got randomly were like better condition. Let's remove 
As I need like a drink of water real quick. <laughs> I actually, I actually have a headache. This is not, I'm, this isn't a bit. I'm a little, I'm a little not good right now. I don't want to see any. I told you so's in the chat because you all egged me on. I'd like to configure the video, please. What do you think that candy's made out of? What do you think is in it? Well, I would like the focus to go back to normal but also go to auto. I never did anything. Death and disease. It's probably a little sugar in there. I'm a Google it. Greed. All right, I don't know why they would put greed in it. So here's, here's some of my favorite ones that I've gotten that I pulled today. So obviously not all of them. Uh, we did really well duplicate wise. Um, Pinsir, Ducklet, Salamance, the Lady Buzz, Igglybuff with a hole in his head. I'm gonna put with the duplicates. Which one of these Lady Buzz do I like more? Damn, it's tough because he's got the mark on his back, but he's got the marks on his tummy. It's like choosing between your children. He's shinier though but he's got the marks on his tummy. I think that'll come off. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I'll put this one off to the side. Well, I wanna, uh, I shouldn't have eaten that fucking candy. I do wanna thank everyone <clears throat> for coming out here tonight. It's been a, uh, it's been a wild ride. GG everyone, it's been a, it's been a run, you know? Um, I do, again, I want to say I'm sorry for not being here as often as I, I probably should be. I won't lie to you. Um, hopefully, I can I can <clears throat> get over my issues before too long. And we can get back to normal. I've been enjoying Rise. I've been enjoying Isaac. Uh, so, you know what? That's the way it is. You say, as you've streamed nonstop for a week, yes, but it's all been Monster Hunter Rise. <clears throat> Which, um, most people don't care that much about. <laughs> okay. Thank <laughs> you.